Fountain family, it's that time again. Our annual church picnic is coming Saturday, August 11th from 9 a.m. until 6 p.m. Come out to Lower Huron Park in Belleville, Michigan and enjoy free food, fellowship, games, and more. There will be basketball, baseball, football, swimming, bouncers, and so much more. It's always a great time at the church picnic, so be sure to mark your calendars and invite your family and friends. Bring your tents and chairs. You can even bring your own food. Admission to the park is $10 per vehicle. Come out and have fun with your church family. See you August 11th. Being a member, not only a member, but a part of the Fountain of Truth has been a tremendous, tremendous blessing to my life. Prior to coming to the Fountain, I was just used to church, and I just really saw it as a ritual and a routine. But Bishop really spoke to me and said, um, it's not about your religion, Christianity is a relationship. The thing I appreciate the most is Bishop Michael Jones. And those that know when you meet a real man that gives real advice, that's greatly appreciated. I am so grateful for the Founder Truth and the teachings that, is, that I receive here. And I'm guaranteeing you that if you sow into this good ground, that God is going to reap a benefit in your life as we go forth and touch the lives of people. Every year, we, the Fountain family, have the opportunity to come together and honor our spiritual leaders. This year, we celebrate our Bishop Michael and Pastor Brenda Jones for 38 years in ministry. On Sunday, August 19th, it's Bishop's Day, and we will come together and sow financial seeds into the lives of our shepherds during our 10 a.m. worship service. In 1 Timothy 5 and 17, it says, Elders who do their work well should be respected and paid well, especially those who work hard at both preaching and teaching. We can all attest to the awesome teachings of our pastors, so let's come together and honor them. Be sure to mark your calendars for August 19th, Bishop's Day. So we have a person that says, I'm afraid of trying something new because oh. they keep failing, they keep trying, they're not scared of trying, but they're, they, they're not fit, it's not succeeding. How do I ignore my feelings of failure? Well, you don't ignore your feelings of failure, but you have to recognize you go into the project already with fear, so fear is your dominant thought. The fear of failure produces failure. No matter how many times you try it, you can always fail because that's what's resident in your thought. And you are a reflection of your thought. You are living your thoughts. No matter how you try to override them, you cannot successfully until you change them. But if you entered into it with the perception, man, I'm gonna blow it out the park. You may not blow it out the park, but you won't fall in the hole. And it keeps consistently in a chain. But you defeat it before you start. And the more you keep doing it that way, the less power or trust you will have that you ever come out. So you can't fear and be successful. It's the thought of fear that is dominating everything. When I have a fear thought, it germinates more fear. It doesn't germinate belief because it's the seed of fear. And so when I fear I can't, all possibilities of can are shut off. And when you believe you can, then it opens up an avenue for possibility of thought come to you how you can. And so you defeating yourself because you're still operating in the fear. Did I, did, 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 did. You help me, Bishop. <laughs> Why did anybody else? But that was an awesome, awesome. Okay. Ignite Youth and Young Adult Conference is back and it's coming July 12th to the 15th. This year's theme is We're All In. Guest speakers include James C. Hayes, Jay Will, and conference host Pastor Matthew Jones. There will be life-changing teachings, games, ministries, and after party, and so much more. Nightly services are at 7 p.m. 
and it's absolutely free. We're calling all youth and young adults across Metro Detroit. Make sure you're in the building. These have been our announcements, but before we go, be sure to follow us on all social media outlets, as well as download our app from your media store by searching See the Fountain. Now, back to service.